Shalom, shalom, shalom. How's everybody doing today? How is everybody doing? All praise to the Most High for allowing us to see another day, another Sunday. We know the true Sabbath day is from Friday Sunday down to Saturday sundown, not Sunday. And we know the true resurrection of Christ, or true resurrection of Hamashiach. Yahshua Hamashiach is his real name, not no Jesus Christ. We know the true resurrection of the Most High Son, Yahshua Hamashiach, is on the Holy Passover. The Passover is a celebration of the resurrection of uh, Yahshua, not no um, Easter. Easter is the Ishtar. She's she's the witch. She's a bitch. And she's a moon goddess. So yeah, know your history. Read the Bible. It's basically the instructions before leaving Earth. Um, Hebrew Israelites. Blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, melanated people. We need to know who, who God is. We need to seek the most high. Seek ye first the things that get added unto you. So a lot of y'all saying, Jesus risen, Jesus risen. I understand it. But knowing that you you are not looking up your history, you're not seeking knowledge, you're not knowing that this holiday is form of witchcraft. It's a pagan. You serve serving pagan gods. What the hell is a bunny rabbit got something to do with Easter? I mean, what the hell is a bunny rabbit got something to do with Yahshua HaMashiach? That's world known as Jesus Christ. And you know why they push it for transgender day to be on Easter Sundays, every Easter? Because, the, you know, the Antichrist is a homosexual. Anti, Antichrist is a faggot. Antichrist, he goes both ways. All right? I mean, I might get fired. I might get canceled on YouTube for this, but I don't give a damn. Cancel me, motherfucker. Let me be part of the cancel culture. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't sugarcoat shit. I'm gonna let you know what's up. I let you know what's going down. All right. Easter is a pagan. Easter, aka Ishtar, she's the moon goddess. You know, raise up what uh, raise the little baby boy named Tammuz. You know, the Egyptian god. That's where Christmas Day come from. Nimrod. You know, CZBO is the false white image of Jesus. That y'all praise and worship today. It has nothing to do with Yahshua HaMashiach. So we got to we got to start playing with the Most High. If you really, ah, little boy, come over here. If you really love God, you got to really know him for who he is. Why, why, why we, why we playing games with him? Why we why we why we playing games with with the Messiah? You know we all fall short, we all sinning, we all got to get ourselves together. But for the meantime, in order for us to get ourselves together, we got to seek Him. We got to pray, fast, and repent. Brothers, practice seeking retention. Don't be masturbating to no porn. Don't be lusting after women. Don't be lusting after strange flesh. You got to really hold your semen. Semen is powerful. It's a spiritual warfare. The incubus and succubus spirits want you to masturbate. They want you to give yourself away for they can gain power. They can destroy your soul. They come in, you know, the Bible says the book of, I believe, I, believe, I got to meditate the scriptures no more. I believe Second Peter, Second Peter said that he's like a roaring lion that's seeking to devour. He's the, He wants to seek it to devour you and destroy you, to take, out, take you out. Because these demonic spirits, they want you to be comfortable in sin, comfortable in smoking weed, comfortable drinking, get high, get drunk, go to club every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They want to destroy you. The energy of vampires. And then when you go to hell, they're going to say, welcome, and they laugh at you, and call you stupid, and threaten you. You have a hard time breathing. Hell is real. You have a hard time breathing. There's no oxygen. There's no hope. There's a place called abandon all hope. The bottom is pit. Different torments of hell. You get burned in the thrown in the fire, you get tortured. Day and night, all day. People in hell right now are torturing and burning and screaming in agony. Wish they would get this stuff right with Yahshua HaMashiach. Wish they would accept him for who he is. Wish they would have put the sins to bed and really focus and dedicate their life to the most high. But what you doing? You going to church? You endorsing Easter? Thinking that's the resurrection of Christ? You following what the world do? You are honoring and celebrating many gods. The pagan gods is endorsing and celebrating many gods. Look at the history of pagan, and you don't know what it is. Easter has nothing to do with Yahshua Hamashiach. Christmas has nothing to do with him. Halloween, Thanksgiving, and so forth. 
we got to understand that this is a spiritual warfare. April 1st is tomorrow. And what that means is biblical New Year's is coming. We got the solar eclipse supposed to be coming, but you know how you know how they know solar eclipse is coming? Because of the um the so-called white people, the children of Esau, the politics, the scientists, the people who created NASA and science and technology to believe in science more than anything. They channel spirits, just like the movie star, like Denzel on the rock and all these movie stars. They channel the spirits. They talk to spirits. They let them come in their life. They let them devour their soul for them to, to know what's coming. So the Bible said, the book of Ephesians said, um, 6 and 11 and 12 says, I know this one by heart. It said, we wrestle, we, before we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and spiritual wickedness in higher places. That like there's a higher realm before you get to the kingdom of heaven. All right. You got demonic spirits watching you every day. They watch me right now as they know that I'm giving you some truth. They know that I'm speaking, speaking some gospel in your ass right now. Because most of y'all are soft. A lot of these men are effeminate these days. A lot of these men are soft motherfuckers. They are ashamed, you know, to tell people the truth. They are scared and they fear monger, you know, to tell people to come out of church. We, don't, we got people who understand the Bible, but they're scared to speak up. You know, the Bible wants you to be bold. Yeah, you might have to cuss a little bit, but you got to curse and cuss and lose a little bit of profanity in order to wake people up, in order to get people to understand that the Bible is real, in order to get people to understand that the Most High is the living God. The Most High is a real God. He's Elohim, that's his real name. And his son is not Jesus Christ, his son is Yahshua HaMashiach. That's his real name. And biblical Israelites, the greatest sin of them all is black people don't know who they are. That wash trying to stay me. Black people don't know who they are. See, I'm monetary spirit, but that wash trying to stay me because they don't want me to hear the truth. The greatest sin of them all is black people don't know who they are. Black history mind. Oh, we celebrate black history, right? We ain't African clothes and this and that. No, goddamn well, but most of them ain't not from Africa. We're for we Israelites. We are Israel. We are Israel. We are part of um, tribe of Judah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are part of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are his people. It is time for us to seek him. So the world's coming to end, baby, before we know it. And I believe the Antichrist is here now. It's just a matter of a lot of demonic spirits. A lot of people say demon time with the demon emoji when they post. Something on Facebook or social media, acknowledging a demon, not knowing what you wish it for, not knowing what you're setting your life up for. You, all you're doing is fighting yourself up for the slaughter. So a lot of things about to happen. A lot of things about to go down. And I'm gonna come at you live again tonight. We're gonna break down some scriptures and we're gonna break down some truth. And also one more thing before I close, and I'm gonna talk more about this tonight. That bridge in Maryland, that key bridge that collapsed last Monday night before my birthday came. Birthday is a pagan as well. It was a setup. Let me tell you how it's a setup. The container hit one side of the bridge, right? That's what we see. So why the news? <sighs> Make it look like the container is only the big deal. They hit the part of the bridge. And then one of the corporate people say that the containers, they are... Controlled by GPS, they control by a certain speed. And all of a sudden, they say the system was hacked. The system was hacking the containers and it caused it to hit that bridge that day. Who got the power to do that? What the cargo ships got the power to who control the cargo ships that come in and the ports that come from overseas? The government. <laughs> you understand what I'm getting at? The government, baby. They set that shit up. They controlled that cargo ship to hit that bridge. And then one other side of the bridge, how the hell, how the hell the other side of the bridge had spark of smoke and fire? The other part of the bridge had stock of smoke, stock of smoke and fire. Like a, like a detonator. Like they had a detonator, grenade, I mean a detonator bomb in place around that part of the bridge. They said, boom, a fire and smoke. And that part of the bridge collapsed. And that side of the bridge ain't got hit by the fucking cargo ship. So how the fuck that bridge blew up like that? And fall straight down. Come on, man. These motherfuckers blow, trying to kill people one by one. If they had the power to do that, they had the power to
to have a, a, a electronic force to destroy Maui, Maui, Hawaii last year. And you got the motherfucker like the Rocket Oprah Winfrey asking people for money. And you know they want the richest motherfuckers in the world. America's dirty. And this is the daughter of Babylon. Babylon is falling before you know it. A civil war is coming. Another possible COVID-19 might be coming. A purge might be coming. They're throwing all these movies at you. All these movies at you. The movie Civil War is coming out soon. The, the movie called Leave the World Behind is happening. And that's a coincidence. The movie Leave the World Behind had a container coming to the beach in the sand, right? And then we had another one. It happened for fruition in real life. A container hit the fucking bridge. They are telling you what the fuck they're going to do before it happened in these movies. Stay woke. Get your mind out of the gutter. Stop thinking about sex. Stop thinking about what this pagan Easter has to offer. The real resurrection of Christ, the real resurrection of Yahshua HaMashiach is the Holy Passover. That's the true crucifixion of Christ. Yahshua HaMashiach, not no fucking Easter, that bitch. She can go swim and suck a dick. Like she always do with incubus and succubus spirits and witches and warlocks. If you don't like what I got to say, get the fuck off my content. I ain't really got views anyway. I don't give a damn. I'm telling you what the fuck it is. We got to start playing games with more side. Even though you got saved and baptized, you got to put more work in than that. This is being saved and baptized. You got to study the Bible and be self-approved. You got to be bold. You got to go beyond. You got to watch what you eat. All that. Follow the dietary laws. The end is coming. Stay tuned. More content coming at you later tonight. Like and share the video. TJ underscore humble 76 is on the mission. Shalom. And peace.